My purpose in life is to serve others. And in doing that, I want to bring all my talents, all my gifts to serve as many people as possible everywhere. I was born and raised in Nigeria, middle child of um, five boys, great parents, and I was blessed from that perspective. It was always my desire to go to college in America. So after high school, I came to Dallas to go to college. I ended up graduating from the University of Texas at Dallas. And um, while I was in college, I had the opportunity to get exposed to the healthcare at home industry. This was, you know, in the late 90s, early 2000s, there was just so much technology, the internet was new. So in the early days, what we did at Access was build a cloud-based technology platform to help healthcare at home organizations be more efficient, grow their business, streamline their operations, and most importantly, improve patient outcomes. We led the world in technology to empower the delivery of the highest quality healthcare at home. My parents were distributors for Unilever, so I grew up in a business family. It was all a cash-based business, so my parents would come home, and then we had a room where they would just literally dump sacks of cash on the floor, and it was our job to bundle it all up, tally all that, and then in the morning, the next day on my way to school, I will stop by the bank, make a deposit, keep the deposit slip with me, and then go to school. Now. Both of my parents have, at best, a sixth grade formal education. So they weren't very formally educated, but they're the smartest people that I know. So they were eager for us to get the best education that we could get so they could, we could do so much more than they accomplished in their lives. And that's why the work, the work of junior achievement means a lot to me. You can achieve. What you see, you become. And Jay does that so well, and I'm not sure there's anyone that does a better job than Jay at exposing kids to those types of opportunities that can be transformative in their lives. I believe it's important as a leader to create a space where your people can be all that they can be. And I, I talk about how to my team that a thousand years from now when I'm long gone, the access culture will always live on. I am blessed with an incredible family. I have a, a wife that's my dear, dear, dear friend. I've had moments even more lately where I'm thinking, wow, what a journey, what a blessing. So I'm inspired to leverage all that I am and all that I have access to to serve more people and help make their lives more meaningful. My access.